Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about how to automate load balancing in ECS Anywhere. ECS Anywhere is an extension of the AWS ECS service which runs in AWS. In the case of ECS Anywhere, you are able to deploy your container workloads in your on-prem data center instead of AWS. Now then, when you're deploying in AWS, you'll typically make use of an AWS network load balancer to expose your network services. In today's video, we'll be talking about how we can use a big IP to provide network services for your ECS Anywhere tasks. When load balancing ECS Anywhere, there's two different ways that we can configure a big IP to provide these services. The first method is to use a manual process. You would start with first retrieving the list of ECS services that you'd like to load balance. Next, you would retrieve the list of ECS tasks that are associated with that service. Then the list of ports associated with it, IP addresses of the container instances associated with it, and finally create the load balancer service on the big IP itself. The manual process can work in an environment where you have few changes, but this is not an ideal way to run an infrastructure. Instead, we can deploy an ECS controller. Next, let's look at how we can build our own ECS controller. To build our controller, we will make use of multiple AWS services. The first service that we will make use of is AWS EventBridge. We will use AWS EventBridge to notify us of changes that are occurring in ECS Anywhere. These changes will send a message to an SQS queue that we will use to check for changes. These changes will be propagated to a controller that we will deploy in ECS Anywhere. This controller will monitor both the AWS APIs to look for changes in the SQS queue, as well as look for the information on the services, tasks, ports, and IPs that we would like to configure our big IP device with. Once we have that information, we can then configure our big IP device. Finally, we'll be able to connect our end user through the big IP to our ECS service. So let's look at a quick demonstration of using these all together. We'll start by looking at the manual process of configuring an ECS service. In this method, we can see that we can get the required information of IP and port, but it's a pretty onerous task to do this repetitively. Next, let's look at deploying this same scenario using our ECS controller. We start with a big IP device that has no configuration. Here you can see we have deployed our ECS controller and that the ECS controller has started properly. Next, we're going to add additional metadata to our ECS service. This metadata will allow our ECS controller to configure the big IP with the correct IP address. Here you can see that our controller has picked up the change from the SQS log. And here we can see that it has configured the big IP address with the IP address that was configured with the tag associated with the ECS service. We can also see the IP and ports have been configured on the big IP address. We can also modify the number of tasks associated with the service and observe that our controller will detect these changes and automatically update the big IP device. Here we can see that we've moved from running three tasks to 30 tasks. We can see that the controller has picked up the changes. And here you can see that the big IP has been updated with the additional tasks. This concludes our video demonstration of how to load balance ECS Anywhere. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.